Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes around the world. Welcome to my channel. And if it's the first time you're passing through, please click on the, thum the thumbs up button or the thumbs down button and subscribe to support the channel. And um, for my existing subscribers, enough respect as always. Um, today's video is not a very nice one. It's very quite sad, actually. Came home from work. I didn't have any topics to discuss, so I thought I would have a night off. But anyway, in quick succession, I had about two requests. So I am going to share this video with you. The first thing I need to tell you is that if you are leaving America or the UK or anywhere outside Jamaica, do not use the taxi cabs unless you know the people personally, unless somebody has directly recommended a taxi cab to you, don't take them. You know, when I went to Jamaica last month, so many people were saying to me, why you never told us you were going to Jamaica, blah, blah, blah. And it's for reasons like this. I mean, to be honest, I, I, I secured the tour, you know, the tour buses, you know, the shuttle bus that takes you from A to B. And if you're going on um, one of those all-inclusive hotels and all-inclusive resorts, you don't have to worry because you're catered for and you're taken from place to place and it's very secure. But you're leaving America, in this case, to go to Jamaica on your own. And you're talking about you're going to surprise your relatives. You don't tell them that you're coming. And then you take a taxi outside the airport. And now you're the one that got the surprise because now you're dead. Let me play the video for you. It's so unfortunate. The people, them brave people who travel. Hold on. Come. And this lady here is 57 years old. She came from America Tuesday and got take taxi. You know, private taxi, she don't know the taxi man, and the taxi man carry her away and rob her and shoot her and kill her. Then, she, um, one of my friend tell me that um, her sister live in a handsome, and she came down Tuesday. And when she call her family member, make them come and pick her up. She take taxi like she give them surprise. She was to go Port and Tony. But she she was to go in in some first, so them took she take the taxi and them carry her away, rob her passport, everything, and shoot her and kill her. Then find the body. She there a man. She there at the burying ground. Um, the parlor. No, Tuesday happened. She came from New York. You see how people wicked. But I blame her. She should never take a taxi out there. She should. She should call her family member and they come and pick her up. She's 57 years old. You can imagine. Look how, look how long people here so them take with people and kill them or kill her. And she can take the taxi. I blame her. I may blame the man that we kill her. They should even take her money. Even take her for all her clothes and live the woman life. Call her the woman of for work, man. Look how the hard the lady work. And they still never gone. Just the one side, no food, when you see the bitch, them out. Yeah, it does go on a little bit, but yeah, it is so, it's so sad. But I can imagine if you're coming from a Western society or Western country, you're going to think it's okay to take a taxi. Number one, she probably thought, oh, well, let me help the locals. You know, they probably need a couple of bucks. And, you know, people take it for granted that everybody looks on YouTube and everybody knows what's going on. Not everybody knows what's going on. You know, she, she probably, I don't know, I don't want to judge her, but maybe I can't imagine her sitting there looking at YouTube videos. She looks like a sophisticated young lady. So not everybody is going to be informed. That's why it's so important for people to tell people not, sh you know, sometimes it's not even any point sharing um, videos unless you know that people are going to watch them or you're going to tell them specifically why you're telling them, why you're sharing the video. Because, you know, 
if you're going to share a video with somebody and somebody might not normally be interested in videos, they're going to think, oh, well, I'm not going to watch that. I might leave it till later. When if you said to them, look, I know you're going to Jamaica next week. I think you should look at this video. You might find it helpful. At least then look at it. But there are so many people who are still ignorant of what is going on around the world. Or otherwise they think, oh, this is not going to happen to me. Or they think it only happens to certain types of people. That's what some people believe, you know. They believe that if you look a certain way, nothing's going to happen to you. But greed and death and desperation doesn't discriminate it takes anyone's life and you have to be careful so it's unfortunate that this young lady I mean she's 57 it's unfortunate that she was brought to this premature death just because she put her faith in a taxi driver now this is going to spoil the business of taxi drivers honest taxi drivers who look to um, these kind of situations to put the bread on their table people are not going to want to take a taxi personally i wouldn't take a taxi i mean even when i was walking up and down top road and these taxis were asking me to go down the road i'm like no way i don't know you i don't know you could be a legitimate taxi, you might not be a legitimate taxi. I don't know, I'm not taking that risk. I'll walk. You can't be too careful. And I know they're not going to drag me off the street. I know they're not going to do that. But putting yourself in that vulnerable position when you're on your own, not even like it's a group of you, and you're getting in a car of somebody you do not know who's taking you somewhere, and the people that you're going to visit don't even know that you're coming. I mean, nobody could surprise me because I'm, they, they never know whether I'm home or not home. So they never know my plans. I never tell people what I'm doing. So if they were going to give me a surprise birthday party or something, they'd be up the creek without a paddle because they probably couldn't even find me. So I think it's very silly. I mean, surprises back in the day were nice. Have surprise birthday parties, pop in. Okay, if somebody lives around the corner, five minutes around the road, that's different. But you're going to leave America to go to Jamaica to give somebody a surprise and jump in a cab and you don't know who's driving the car? Oh. I just don't know. It's just so sad. But, you know, sometimes it takes something like this to save someone else's lives. So just share this video. Make sure that if you know of anybody who's going to Jamaica, who may not know the protocol or what to do. Just share the video so they know. Keep people safe. Enough respect. Bye for now.